I have two microwave emitters over here that are producing two sine waves that are beating at about 10 and a half gigahertz, 10.5 billion times per second. They're being detected over here by two detectors. The one on the bottom records the frequency and you see the 10.532 gigahertz uh, average of the two. The one up on top goes to a, an oscilloscope over here which records how the intensity of these two very similar sine waves, very similar in frequency, how that's changing with time. And in fact, if we looked at the scale, we could see that that's uh, uh, something like a sine wave that's varying at a million times per second. All right, I can check that against the individual frequencies by first covering one of these horns and seeing what the frequency is. It's uh, just about 10.533. And then if I cover the other one instead, I get a frequency of about 10.532. So the difference in those two is just about one megahertz. And that's what I see when I change the input to the frequency meter to measure the frequency of that sine wave. This is what happens when microwaves beat against each other. It's what happens when audio waves beat against each other. Any sine wave, any pair of sine waves, that are very close in frequency will beat. That is, they'll produce an average frequency, that's the average of the two frequencies, and the amplitude will increase and decrease at a rate equal to the difference of frequencies.